Hello, I'm Nikki, and today I'm going to show you how I put together this 12 inch by 16 inch vending machine using 13 inch by 19 inch photo glossy paper. All the supplies used can be found in the description box. Being that this 13 inch by 19 inch photo glossy paper does not come with an adhesive backing, I had to create my own. I like this method better than gluing my paper on the foam board. Use a cutting tool or scalpel to cut away the excess tape. Cutting it with scissors will gum up your scissors. Place the printed side up on top of the double-sided tape. Rub and smooth down to get a good attachment. Any place the image doesn't have tape, use the excess tape to fill in those voids. Rub and smooth down some more to make sure your printed image is adhering to the double-sided tape. Repeat this step for the remaining printed images. My goal this year is to reach at least 30,000 followers. If you are liking this content, please help me reach this goal by subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. It would help me a lot. Now that I am finished adding the double-sided tape to the back of my printed images, it's time to attach them to the foam board and cut them out. Basically, basically, I'm going to peel away the protective liner from the double-sided tape and attach the images to the top and smooth it down. I'm going to take my metal ruler to cut the image away from the foam board. I suggest using a metal ruler to prevent cutting into a wood ruler. Now cut out your window. For the window, I'm using clear self-adhesive laminate. I'm going to measure and cut out the size I need. About one inch from all four edges, I'm going to score the clear protective backing and peel it away from the laminate to expose the adhesive part. Do not cut through the laminate, just the backing and attach it to your window opening. Smooth it down to get a good attachment. Now let's cut out the flap. I will be cutting the flap away from the vending machine and cleaning up the inside. I'm going to cut off just a hair off the sides and bottom of the flap so that I can have some wiggle room for the opening and shutting of the flap. I'm going to attach the flap by taping the top of the flap to the vending machine with clear tape. And there you have it, your functional flap. I am basically going to do this for the remaining images. Now let's add our side panels. I'm going to be gluing on the left and right side panels to the back of the vending machine. I will be gluing them on top and not on the sides. I'm going to add hot glue to the edges of the back side and the bottom of the panel. Do not add glue on the top. Clean up the glue that may have come out from the sides by smoothing it down. I'm going to use a long piece from a cutout portion of the foam board and not my fingers. Press and hold until the panel firmly adheres to itself or to the foam board. Repeat this step for the other side. Now at your top, I will be attaching three double-sided adhesive hinges on the left side of the vending machine. Once you apply your hinges, they will not come off without destroying your image. Be sure to put them on right the first time. So right here on the corner, I am placing one end of the hinge to the side panel and the other end of the hinge to the front of the vending machine. And there you have it, your functional door. Now let's add in our shelving. I'm going to start off with the bottom shelf. I'll be adding hot glue to the sides and bottom of the shelf. I am going to add hot glue to the bottom of the vending machine where the bottom shelf is going to sit. 
However, I noticed that when adding hot glue to the side of the shelves and sliding the shelves into place, the glue smears. Therefore, I am going to add double-sided tape to the sides for now on and just hot gluing the bottom. Once again, I'm using a strap piece from the foam board to clean up any glue that may have come out from the sides. I'm going to press and hold until the shelf attaches to the foam board. I'm going to add some glue to the inside corner for a little more support. I'm going to get some clear transparent tape and attach tape to the side panel and bottom shelf for added support. I'm also going to do this on both sides of the vending machine and for all remaining shelves. Now let's add our lights. I am going to cut a small square at the bottom corner of the vending machine in order to thread my lights through. I'm going to punch out the foam in order to make an entrance. I'm going to take my lights and thread it through the hole and pull them through. After putting my lights through, I'm going to hot glue the switch where the hole is to hide it. Keep in mind the batteries are small and can be a choking hazard for small kids. Now let's tape my lights to the side panels with clear transparent tape going all the way around and up the middle. Now I'm going to add in the rest of my shelves repeating the same step as the bottom shelf. Alright, when placing your second shelf, you want to make sure it is below the window, but not blocking the free flow of the opening and closing of your flap. Before gluing your last shelf, get an idea of where you want to put it by placing the items inside that you will be using. Also, mark the area where you want to hot glue your shelf before removing it. You only want to glue the bottom and sides of the shelf and not the top. If you put glue on the top, the glue will show through your window and it will not be a good sight. Press and hold until the shelf attaches. When placing the top of the vending machine, you only want to hot glue the sides and the back. Do not glue the front. Remember, we want to be able to open and close the front. Press and hold until the shelf attaches. And as you can see, there is no glue to the top. Now there you have it, your 12 inch by 16 inch vending machine with a functional front door and flap. Here is a comparison of the different sizes. The smaller vending machine is the 8 by 10 and I made it without a functional flap. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.